Hey, yo, what up, y'all? Um, had to come and do a quick update because I just uh, looked on the um, TMZ website and they had an update on there. And um, just to let y'all know that uh, this has to be true because, um, well, most likely it's true because um, TMZ had just reported that law enforcement actually, uh, I don't know if they reached out to TMZ or TMZ reached out to them, but um, they actually let inform TMZ that they reached out to Takashi 69 and his people and they are not cooperating. So I guess they're not trying to tell who actually um, did or what they know on the specifics of the case or um, what's really going on. And um, so it must be true if they're reaching out to TMZ, uh, reaching out to law enforcement and law enforcement is telling them that Takashi and his people are not um, cooperating and not let them know. So that also tells you that Takashi 69 and his camp may have information on who exactly did this. If it's four in the morning, there's only only so many people that are out. I'm actually at a video shoot right now. Um, that's why I'm in the car. But um, yeah, so it must be true. And Takashi and them are not cooperating. So maybe he does know who pulled up behind him and uh, blocked him in. And then the gunman that ran off or the one that chased him out of the car when he jumped out of the back of the vehicle and took off and they said he didn't want to be identified so he turned around and left Takashi and let him go ahead and go where he was going to go <clears throat> all of that might be true after all and um maybe he didn't want to be identified because he probably knew that Takashi would indeed know who he was or can confirm it if he already had a hunch on who he was so when they beat him and knocked him unconscious maybe he didn't exactly know but then when they got in the car it might things that may have start to <clears throat> turn against them they may have even not they didn't turn on the child safety locks it may have been by design they may have wanted to do it but after they got the seventy thousand dollars seventy five thousand dollars in jewelry and the well, uh, uh, up to like ten or twenty thousand dollars in cash they may have been like <clears throat> all right if we can get more we're gonna get more but if not we're gonna just let this guy go anyway so who knows i'm sure they wanted more but i don't understand why they wouldn't have just taken his wallet and taken him directly to the bank and told him to em and emptied his account or went into the house and thank god they didn't because his baby girl and his baby mama was in there but you already had to drop on him he was already right behind him i don't understand why i don't know if they were just amateurs or what the reason it was for taking him out of his driveway but for whatever reason it didn't happen and i'm thank god it didn't so y'all keep praying for takashi 69 and just wanted to update y'all that indeed the police have reached out and they cannot get more information. Takashi's on probation, so I don't know how that's going to work. Maybe he'll have to give up some information and people's going to be labeling him a snitch. But if you're on probation, you don't want to go to jail either. So who knows where this is going to end up, y'all. But I don't want to take up much more of y'all's time. So well, DJ Dooski, I'm out this thing, y'all. Peace. Keep praying. Thank God he didn't get killed. We seen what just what happened with X. Thank God he didn't get killed. Don't be poking fun at him, y'all. Don't be making fun of him talking about he finally took an L or none of that. This is this stuff is serious out here. And he was just talking about changing after the X situation. So just keep praying. That's all we can do, y'all. This is my boy on my shirt. He got killed. Dice game. Great, great rapper. Great artist. Who they want? T Red. That was like one of his songs. So Y'all keep praying. Pray for me too. Peace, y'all.